Okay. Here, I have a little bit of what's left in the bottom of my fermenter and subsequent bottling bucket. Now, this was pretty sediment rich and I didn't pour it out into the stuff that I'm going to add the sugar to because I really didn't want all that sediment in there. But it's been sitting now for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and you can see in the bottom of there, maybe three eighths to half an inch of sediment. Well, if you look on the top here, I've got my handy dandy little carbonation device. Two liter bottle cap, one liter bottle cap, air uh, valve, needle valve from a car. I'm going to go over to my CO2 tank. And we're going to carbonate this. Okay. Uh, hook up my air gauge. I've already set the pressure on my air tank, my CO2 tank, to about 30 pounds. And you listen real close. Well, here too. Let me bring the camera close enough so you can hear what's going on. Okay, and if you'll notice, I'm going to open up the valve here. Uh, you can see there actually was a dent in that can in the bottle, and it popped it out right away. But if you can look, you can see the bubbles going into the bottle. I'm just going to shake this for a while. I'm going to do this for about two minutes. Now, you can do this with the one liter bottle. You can do this with the two liter bottle. Anything that has a standard bottle cap that you can put a needle valve from a tire on it. I've got other ones in here I've done using the stainless steel thing, which I don't know. I haven't decided if the rubber one imparts any rubberized taste or not. Um, I'm actually planning on testing this in an hour or two, so I don't really care that the rubber one's on there because it's not going to be on long enough to get any taste in the beer anyhow. Uh, it doesn't take long, but you Sheesh. can see this. It's pumping the CO2 in there. That bottle is pretty stiff. But I'm carbonating my beer quick, just force carbonating it. Now, the beer that's in the keg that I just put in is actually, um, I'm going to put the carbonation level to about 10, or excuse me, the CO2 level to about 10 pounds and let that sit for a few days before I taste it and let it easy carbonate. As I said, pressure from the CO2 going in here has puffed up this bottle, but two liter pop bottles are made to withstand the pressure. This one liter pop bottle. And of course I did wash this out real good and star sand it beforehand. So I won't have any issues with that. And I'm going to be drinking it later tonight anyhow. So just about done. One thing I mentioned, if you look, this little valve is just your standard tire valve, bought at Harbor Freight, got the little clip on thing, bought all the fittings at Harbor Freight, standard hose clamp. 
when I'm done, one thing you do got to remember, um, flip this valve off, to cut the airflow to the needle valve because that will to the filling valve because that does leak a little bit. And there you have it. It'll be cold and carbonated here. In an hour or two, I'll give it a shot and taste it. Force carbonation at its finest.